Greetings. My name is Mr. Jones. Um, you, you're going to be your either advanced placement statistics teacher this year or algebra two honors teacher this year. Um, right now I'm in my classroom at Plant High School. Uh, we're taking a picture right now or a video of the book or the textbook that you'll be using in advanced placement statistics. It is the most recent uh, edition of the book. It's great. Uh, unfortunately, we did not have the money to buy the um, electronic version, uh, but there is a lot of material online. I'm going to try to figure out how I can get the textbook itself into your hands over the next couple weeks before the opening of school. Um, the course itself is an advanced placement class course, so there is quite a lot of material that we will cover. Um, of course, we're just going to try to get through one day at a time as we go throughout the year, which is going to be a very unique year uh, in many respects, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing that. I'm certainly tired of saying it. But this is essentially what advanced placement would like us to cover by the time you guys are ready to take the exam. Sometime in May or June, who knows? Um, it's a great class. Uh, I really enjoy teaching it. Um, it is uh, incredibly useful. This is definitely one of those classes, you know, unlike a lot of your other math classes where you might ask the question, when are we ever going to use this? Uh, you will never have that question in this class. Um, so statistics itself, uh, we do use math. Um, but more than anything else, it's more your, I guess, your intellectual curiosity and maturity that is the important thing. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time looking at real-world situations, um, whether it might be why people are dying from vaping, um, climate change. That's a hot-button topic. Oh, I didn't mean that. That was... Bad. Um, and what we really spend a lot of time is instead of worrying about people's opinions and what are called anecdotes, we spend a lot of time looking at actual data that people have collected. And then from that data, we try to make some sense of it. And that's really what statistics is all about. Um, and we try to be very conscientious of bias because we do realize that oh something about Gasparilla last year pirates are poor judges of their own lack of sobriety we won't go there uh, but we spend this and these are just um, some topics or these are some things that came out of the newspaper um, just you know throughout the year uh, a couple weeks worth we have a variety of, so you can see just from the topics that I'm discussing here, we can talk about anything in this class, and we do. There may be some things that make people uncomfortable that we talk about. I'll try to be mindful of that. Uh, this is actually some good, good uh, this is information from the Pepo plant. Um, where they did a big statistical analysis of vaping. I uh, haven't heard too much about that lately with all the talk about COVID, but that was a big deal. Um, we do spend a lot of time generating our own data. We'll do little projects. We like candy in this class, so we do some projects with Starbursts and Hershey's Kisses and M&Ms and things like that. We gather data and, you know, really whether we're talking about M&Ms or gun control or who's going to win the election, really when, once we get the numbers, then we let the numbers tell us the story. Uh, and that's, that's really what I'm trying to teach you in this, or hopefully you'll learn, not necessarily me teach, but you'll learn this year is that, okay, let's take a look at the numbers. You know, let's, let's get rid of opinions for a little bit and discuss, well, what do the numbers say? Um, 
Now, the other thing to be mindful of, what I also try to be mindful of, is the fact that since I'm giving you a tool, um, or I'm giving you a number of tools, uh, you have to be really mindful that what can happen if you only have a hammer, you've heard the phrase, everything looks like a nail. So we can get a little, we can also become um, too infatuated with statistics, but we also have to look at the other things. I know I've been talking too much. Um, hey, if there's any other incentive for doing well in this class, this is from a couple years ago, but this was the average cost of a three semester uh, or three three credit course in the state of Florida a couple years ago. Um, and if you get your three or higher on the AP exam, you can get that math credit waived at the state universities, um, which, you know, you can spend that 600 bucks on something else, right? Anyway, I look forward to meeting with you guys in whatever format uh, we end up working with this year. It's all mystery right now. Um, and, you know, keep, keep healthy and keep strong, and, and we're going to get through this. All right, take care.